Many thousands of years ago, the relationship between man and cattle birthed civilization. Bartering, farming and plowing, milk and other dairy products, and beef. Some people chose to worship cows and bulls for the wealth they provided mankind, and some other people chose to attempt to sit on them for as long as they could, for fun and attention. G'day there, I'm Snake of Bacon, and this is 8 to Glory, the official game of the PBR. And the PBR stands for Professional Bull Riders. It's a, it's a bull riding game for the PlayStation 4. This hat is too small. I bought this game, this 2018 release, for the Xbox One and PS4, and not the only bull riding game ever made, but the only one on this generation of consoles. I bought it because it interested me, and it was $9, and I thought, well... That is an unusual thing to see at EB Games. Anyway, we've had more than enough preamble. This is what the game involves. It involves riding bulls. What did you expect? Anyway, I'll show you how it works. This is a fairly early bull in the campaign. So first you play this little game to decide how much grip you get. You know, one of those sliding bar, hit the sweet spot things as seen in pretty much every golf game ever made to decide how much power your driving shot gets. Then you tap R1 or right bumper on Xbox when the ring touches the orange ring while also moving your stick left and right when the edges of the screen flash like in uh, that one MX versus ATV game. Reflex, that's right. Then the bull does a combo in mid-air, as bulls do. Then you pull off the bull's combo with the same timing. And then you hold on for the remaining second and a half and that is one eight second bull ride. It was stretched out to about 40 seconds, you know, unlike 90 minutes of football which is squished into a 20 minute thing, they have to make an 8 second bull ride longer to make a game out of it. And of course a lot of preparation goes into a real bull ride too, but they're not gonna make you, you know, play a eat your breakfast mini game and put on your chaps mini game. It's just a little bit of grip, holding on, slow mo stuff, and repeat. There's four, five, or six bulls per event. If you don't get bucked off, you're guaranteed to win. Even if you do get bucked off one bull that ride the other three successfully, then chances are you will win the event. When you win, you get these bull dollars and you get PBR trading cards. You get equipment cards that make your stats better and make the game easier, and rider cards that you can level up to also increase your stats, which just makes the game easier. You can sell the cards you don't want to get more bull dollars, and then spend those bull dollars on more booster packs of cards. There's nothing else you can do with the money, and the only thing to do with the cards is to keep selling them until you get the ones you want. It's not a complex economy, there are no further systems. Ride bull, get money and cards, swap money for cards, swap cards for money. So, later in the game, the bulls get much, much more difficult. Sometimes their combos are extremely fast, like this one. And if you miss the first couple, because you're just overwhelmed by how many buttons there are, you know, you will fall off. <laughs> the musical cue is hilarious when time with that footage. But it's the same song every single time uh, you get bucked off. And they have a point, you don't have a thing to complain about. You're a bull rider, you fell off, get up and do the next one right tomorrow. A handful of bulls like Smooth Over and Bruiser do have a chance of doing a 10 button combo that's that fast, but more often you get this 14 button combo that's not as fast and that's pretty much the hardest thing you'll ever have to do. The 10 button is possible too, it's not super lovely 4B hard, which I'm sure is plenty possible, but I can't get the max combo yet, and this isn't the tricky pit, it's the demi semi quavers later on. Uh, but 8 to Glory is not as difficult as DJ Max Respect, no, it's it's not that hard a game. And even if you do mess up that really fast combo a bit, eh, chances are you'll still stay on the bull if your items are good enough. And even if you don't, if you stayed on the other five bulls in the grand final, you can miss the sixth one and still win. Also, keep in mind, I was a left-handed bull rider a moment ago, and here I am seen holding onto the bull with my right, ungloved hand, which I would never do. That doesn't make any sense. So you can tell that this is not actually a replay, just a scene the game generates, and it's the same one for every bull. Like, there's a two or three preset ones. Look, not the most care was put into this package. And when you do win the final event, this is all you get. I have achieved glory. 
when you win that grand final, you get a special booster pack with champion items and 600,000. Hey, they told me I'd get 800,000. So getting to that grand final and winning takes only two to three hours. If you're still playing after that, that means you're probably here for the trophies. Or just to appreciate names such as... Ryan Dirt Eater. He's a real bull rider. And most shockingly, that's his real name. He didn't adopt the name Ryan Dirt Eater. This man was born Ryan Dirt Eater. Oklahoma truly is a different planet. I love the commentary. Matt West, ladies and gentlemen. That's a rank bull ride. Quick little bull. Turning right into his hand. That's, that's basically all you hear. But um, Matt West is a real bull riding commentator. He does have a bull riding podcast. And obviously he had very little to work with. Keep in mind, this game was developed by Three Gates AB, based in Gotland. Gotland, Sweden, not Gotland, Texas. And while the PBR is also popular in Australia, Brazil, and Mexico, I don't yet think it's made inroads into Gotland, Sweden. You know, I'm not certain how a game like this comes into existence. I can only assume the PBR wanted a game. THQ Nordic was positioned to distribute said game, and they got Three Gates to develop it because... Well, they need some sort of job to work on. Uh, they made this wonderful bull model and then had about three months to work out the rest of the game. They spent so much time rigging the bull to move realistically and have animated testicles that... Um... Here we have the writers of the game. Brennan Eldred, Chase Outlaw, a certainly real, very cowboy name. Claudio Montagna Jr., Cody Campbell, Cody Nance, Cody Teal, there's three Codys, Cooper Davis, Dakota Budar, Dena Barbosa, Derek Colbaba, Eduardo Aparecido, Emilia Resende, Fabiano Vieira, Gage Gay. What is that face you're pulling, Gage Gay? Why you look so surprised? Guillermo Machi, oh, smoldering, JB Mooney, Jess Lockwood, Joao Ricardo Vieira, Jorge Valdivieso. What a mustache. Jose Vitor Leme, he was champion last year. Kaike Pacheco, Keyshawn Whitehorse, Kurt Shepard, Luciano De Castro, Luis Blanco, Marco Aguchi, Mason Lowe, Matt Triplett, Nathan Burtonshaw, Ramon de Lima, Robson Palermo, Rubens Barbosa, Ryan Dirt Eater. Ryan Dirt Eater. Ryan Dirt Eater. Ryan Dirt Eater. Silvano Alves, Stetson Lawrence, named after a hat. Stormy Wing, named after a storm. Tanner Byrne, Troy Wilkinson, I picked him, he's Australian, Valderon de Oliveira, and last but assumedly not least, Winston Lopez, and that's all 40 riders. Unfortunately, the game always centers on Brennan Eldred, so you can only really spam Brennan Eldred, Chase Outlaw, or Winston Lopez. Not that this is important or anything, just thought you ought to know. There's no announcement line for Ramon de Lima, though. He's just a great rider. And smooth over and smooth operator are just a tough bull. Speaking of the bulls, we start with Dreamcatcher, then Deep Water, Speed. Oh, Deep Water's so cute. Speed Demon, Nailed, High Razor, Red Bandana, Burn It Down, Biker Bob, Cooper Tires, Brown Sugar, Hustlin' Kitty, Cut the Cord, Stone Sober, Mystical, Honey Hush, Fire and Smoke, Hurricane Hustler, Gambini, More Big Bucks, Mud Shark, Panic Attack, After Midnight, Heartbreak Kid, Filthy Animal, Show Nuff, Magic Train. Smooth Operator, Smooth Over, Bruiser, Pearl Harbor, and Spotted Demon. Now, if you haven't noticed by now, Beware of the Owner by Ryan Weaver has been playing a lot. It's the only song that plays on all the menus of the game. It worms its way into your head. Because in the hours I've spent playing this game, probably more of them were spent in menus hearing this song than on bulls. In fact, I can verify that with this stats screen. Of course that time on bulls is not counting the shoot time and all the other um, presentations but even if we are to assume it's a 50-50 split, four hours of riding bulls is fine, four hours of hearing beware of the owner on repeat is not fine. I'm not fine with that. It's catchy but it's also embedded in my cerebellum. So. The protagonist of this song is discussing with his friends how, last night, the house next door was broken into, and their stuff was stolen, put into a truck, and driven away, and their Doberman did nothing to save them. Or save their possessions, at least. From what I hear, it was just a burglar, you know, and was injured. 
but he expected the dog to go out and maim people. Anyway, the protagonist says that if anyone were to break into his house, theoretically, he would definitely just straight up kill them with his shotgun. And he says these things because of his tremendous feelings of machismo, or machismo. Trust me, both pronunciations are fine. Anyway, it's because of this strong feeling of machismo, the man feels he must kill intruders and protect his family to prove that he is a man. And even if some small rational part of his mind knows that it's not true that you have to kill intruders to be a man, the man also knows that the society he lives in values machismo, and he can gain some easy credibility with his friends by talking about how in a hypothetical situation he would protect his family by killing intruders. And if his friends also feel inadequate and don't look into the deeper meanings of why he's saying this, they'll probably agree with him. His better friends might ask, mate, what's going on at home? Why do you feel you need to go kill a home intruder? Uh, being robbed is quite a terrible experience, you don't want that. If you need to prove yourself as a man, just be a good listener and help people out with stuff if they need it. Back to the game, let's go back a few seconds. I got a perfect on the grip. Yeah. Could have been more perfect. Nice indeed. Oh, like Gears of War. Nice! That's my Marcus Phoenix. <laughs> now that's a nice little detail they added. Here's a nice big detail they omitted. Jorge Valdiviezo has an amazing moustache. His character model does not. It looks nothing like him, and most of the character models don't look like their riders. I'd say it's probably there's only a few models that are just slightly tweaked. You know, they just you know change your hair colour here and there. I suppose it's fair enough. You don't really look at the character models up close very often in a bull riding game. Well, not in this bull riding game. Oh, see that bull bar down the bottom that has another little timing based thing? Don't ever worry about that, it, it does nothing. It might do something, but in 180 bull rides... I don't know which button activates it, I'm sure they showed me once in the tutorial or something. But, uh, I don't think it's important at all. Certainly not necessary to beat the game, at least. There is also a two-player offline mode, where one player plays as the rider and one player is the bull. I assume the bull then can set combos. Um, and maybe that bull bar does something there, but I have not had a chance to try out two-player mode because uh, Well, honestly, I didn't notice the option was there until I was quite far into the game And um, I don't feel like asking anyone to come play 8 to glory with me In conclusion, would I recommend 8 to glory based on my experience with it? Well, that depends what sort of person you are and what you think of what you've seen Do you want to just own it because it's usually less than ten dollars and is so loaded with PBR Celebrate America signs that it if it was any more American it would have to be a Monument Valley Dodge Ram American football cheerleader Bald Eagle 44 Magnum tailgate party red solo cups beef brisket B2 spirits stealth bomber apple pie with cheese if that's what your collection is going for I um, think you're on the right track but may I suggest Metal Wolf Chaos XD which is also an extremely American game developed far outside America. Which I'm not yet ready to review, because I've not finished, but from what I've played, I know it to be good. Anyway, if you are buying this game for its novelty, yes, I can vouch for it there. I bought it because it was an unusual and novel thing to see for $9 in an Australian EB Games. There must only be a thousand copies in this country. And when you can get it for less than a very nice burger, but more than a very cheap burger, so about the price of a mm, mid-range burger. I'm gonna have lunch. All right, what I ended up making was like a leftover sausage burger. It was a chicken sausage and some beef chipolatas, some processed cheese, a fresh hash brown, and I fried an egg, s and mayo, sweet barbecue sauces, and it was really delicious, and that's all my killer jewels for the day. Uh, but it totally fell apart. Worst constructed burger I've ever made. Just totally wrong. Uh, but 8 to Glory uh, is better constructed than that burger, but doesn't taste as good. If you're buying for the trophies, okay. What that involves is playing through the campaign and then playing the last competition about 17 more times to get enough money, to buy enough cards, to, you know, upgrade everyone. So that will probably take 10, 11 hours. I have 8 hours through, I just had to think about how many more cards I need, and yeah, probably need another 3 hours of doing the same event over and over again. But hey, I mean, 
There are many worse games to try and um, get all the achievements in. And this will look funny on your profile. It's also very high alphabetically though, so everyone will see it first. Alright, I thought this review was going well, but I've trailed off and it's just a total mess. Like that burger. Uh, bottom line is, when you're making a burger with sausages, you need quite a strong bun and to not add too many slippery ingredients or everything will just fall apart. And more importantly, 8 to Glory is the best bull riding game in years. It's the only bull riding game in years. Uh, Steak of Bacon signing out.